Let's do this. Yeah! Hey everybody, it's Aaron for the Kill We Life. We got Levi over here and we got Jacob. We got a new quail cage in the mail. I ordered it about a month ago and it took longer than expected to get here, but it is here. It is a Wainolo Ranch cage for jumbo quail, the Myshire Farm exclusive cage. And so they're gonna help me put this thing together. Sounds like fun, huh? Yeah, kind of. We'll see, kind of, we'll see. We already have one of them in the house that, um, but it's the regular version and this is an upgraded heavy duty version specifically made for jumbo quail. Oh. So we're gonna use this and we'll probably modify our other one to hook on as a double cage um, so we can use them inside during the winter. That's, that's awesome. Oh, and I do quail chores, so I'm really excited. Let's do this. Let's let's open up this one first. Oh, yeah. So that's why it has two quail cages. Man, I guess I could grab my knife. That's why it has two boxes. Let's open this one first. Ooh! Oh, I love opening ah. that. Watch out for staples. Okay. Touch it. Bam. Cardboard. For me? Well, most of it's on me. Alright. Oh, so this is... It's not paper. Size. Yes! Freeze. Oh, hold on. That's not paper. Wow. This is, this is uh, where the quail are going to drink from. I have a better drink thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a different one. Here's all. It's the upgraded one. It's the upgraded one, Jake. And I have to bring more water every day. Upgraded. 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 You want to make sure you're not just blocking the camera, though? Okay. Upgraded. Oh. Bam. Hey, Dad, what is blue thing for? What? what that? That's a that is a float valve. All right, that's my invoice. What does that mean? What? Float. A float valve. It's oh please don't. So water fills up. Water goes in here and this floats up and then it turns off the water when it gets higher. Cool. Man. Dude, this thing's big. Whoa. Cardboard. Give me the bird. Bucket with hose. Nice. Like that. Whoa, you almost just got cut, bro. Casters. It's mostly already put together, so. Casters. Do you know what casters are? Nope. nope. Wheels! What do you mean wheels? So you can move it instead of having to pick it up all the time. Yeah, you can roll it around. You can clean under it. So 
here's this. Um, I'm okay, so I thought it was going to be taller. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a little bit taller than that. It says, caution, sharp edges, choking hazard, small parts, it's not for children. So stay away from these parts and be safe, children. It's children, it probably says children on the three. So lay out all the components. Put the cage on its side and put stand over the cage. Put three fillet bolts and nut loosely by hand. Turn the cage around and do the same procedure. Stand the cage up. Super excited to have this other cage. Yes, yes. yes. We've been actually um, using our brooder cage for a grow out cage, and yeah, it just doesn't work right because it doesn't have a egg roll out and the eggs get all dirty. Yeah. It's a, yeah, not, not, not pleasant clean and poop off eggs. Yeah, that's not what I want to do. I have almost poop on my head every morning. Accident. We went with the dishwasher. It just takes all the food out. No, I meant not the food, the plates. Well, the dishes. There's supposed to be and a back simple. strap, but there's not a back strap because this thing is much shorter. All right, so that's all the instructions. I think what we'll do is we'll put the casters on while we have it up, upside down like this. That's what I'm gonna do. There's the instructions. I've already followed all the instructions. We have little baby bunnies in here because it's so cold outside. Yeah. They had birth. They gave birth, and uh, yeah, we didn't want to lose them this time. Yeah, we already lost. Uh Hey Jake, you're balking the camera, man.
Damn, that's pretty sturdy. All right, let's see here. Now this is the bucket with hose. It's a bucket with a hose. Huh? Bucket with a hose. actually has these hoses are extra because I'm gonna use them for our rabbits. So it's not for this video. Yeah, I'll think about it. Yeah. I want to have the water. We actually already have a water set up on the other one, so I'm obviously going to have to hook them together somehow. This is a brand new bucket. We don't really need to turn it off very often. I would assume. Uh, okay, let's. There's still some stuff to do though. Yeah, like the that. side panels. Yeah. And these? Wow. Push oh. these down. They'll lock it. Are you just strong enough to put it down? on the back here. Then how would you be able to drink that? So I wonder what's the it won't fit in that one. That's that's low. I would say about right here is perfect. Mm. Or should I go? I think maybe higher. I think it should be right here because they can put they put their you want to move out of the way. So they have it set up so the quail could put their heads through this, through the cage, and drink it out of here. Kind of like they do with the food. And the reason you do this is because on the other ones, let me show you the other ones. Eh. I do actually, I do actually like these ones. I'm gonna tell you guys and the camera. I actually like these ones because they just peck on that and then water comes in they drink but the problem with these is if a quail which is not super smart they'll stand on it or something gets stuck in there and they'll hold it down it'll just leak and leak and leak and leak and leak but this way they they can't get in there so it won't leak and this protects the water 
from debris and dust and stuff like that. I think it goes over one more. So it's yeah, that's gonna have to go. Oh, that, this is perfect. I'm gonna size. have to walk behind all the perfect. container and No, you don't have to mess with this. You just fill up the water bucket. Yeah, I'm gonna do one. Two buckets? Uh, no, we'll make it only one bucket. Yeah. So. All right, and so. Yeah, we'll just set it over here for now. And then for this front one, this is the feed thing. We already know how this works. Yeah. yeah. You lift the camera stopped recording, but. Yeah, we'll still. I'm still not sure what this is for, but I'll look it up online. Yeah. Bam! What do you think? Uh -huh. So, this is it. We still got a couple things we're going to do because we have a second cage. I'm not sure if I'm, how I'm going to hook it to it or what we're going to do, but from what I can tell with this, it's a nice... Um, sturdy cage and it looks like the other one but just that i have but just heavier duty so this is the winola ranch my shire farm cage and i really i like the fact that it has this drinker that won't spill like you know they they can't just hold it down and let it um drain water all this over here to protect the eggs and and I assume this thing, again, this goes on here somewhere to protect food. I don't think it goes down here. Maybe it does. Let me look. To protect the eggs? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'll, I'll look on the website and, and the pictures. Because that, that looks fine. But I'm pretty sure it goes in there. What if people lose their instructions? Then they can just well, the instruction, we, there wasn't, this is pretty easy, so we didn't really need much instructions. Yeah. So the instructions just, it's like three bolts on either side and some casters and everything else just locks into place. So that's you nice. You just grab your instructions in. Yeah, just get going. All right, well, and this looks easy because you just, all you have to do is, this is hooked to this. All you have to do with this is just push it on here. Done. Yeah. Then you fill up with water, then you have your yeah. quill cage. So I'll look at that and uh, we actually have a bucket already that has this exact nozzle. So we could just take that out and like hook it to our other bucket if we wanted to. Because we got a bigger bucket than this. It doesn't have a shutoff switch though, so. Yeah. All yeah right. It just keeps going and going and going. So where should we put that sticker? Smack it thing. Came with a American flag sticker. So where does this go? Anywhere, actually. You can go anywhere you want. We'll, uh, we're trying to think. The only side we'll see inside is this side. Vinola Ranch. Okay, can you open up those casters? Vinola Ranch, Vinola Ranch, Dot com and a made in USA sticker. I want to get it straight. Bam! Boom! America! Made in the USA! Made in the USA! United States of America! Hey everybody, it's Aaron from the future. Let's check out this cage now that we got it all put together. We have it over here in the corner and the one on top is the jumbo cage and then I hooked our old cage on the bottom there. So we got our jumbo grow outs and our just regular color grow outs. You can see the lights on the bottom are like a reddish color. Yep, the baby has something to say about it. I put in these strip LED lights that I thought they would work but they glitch out constantly so I'm gonna have to change those. I just got a light on top of there. When I came home from work today, I was told that two of the quail in the bottom grow out died. I'm like, oh, how could they die? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. And I looked at it, so I found one flaw 
it's in this bucket in the bucket it has a shutoff switch and when you have a a bunch of kids that like to touch things you have to double check if they turn off that water knob so i'm not sure i'm thinking they're only out of water like maybe a day but man that that was not good so if you ever get one of these buckets with the shutoff nozzle back there make sure you like tape it closed or something or don't have kids <laughs> but yeah the winola ranch cage this is a my shire edition it works out great i uh have a little quail farm for our family and i bring them in side like i call our flock way down and i bring them in for the winter because i don't want to go outside constantly so yeah there's all that so thanks for checking out this kilby life video kilby out